Greetings, Mississippi Alliance members. I'm Rachel Kunish, and I am honored to be serving as your AMA Alliance president this year. Congratulations on your centennial. Here in my home state of North Carolina, we are also celebrating our centennial. It is just wonderful to see so many state alliances joining with the AMA Alliance in celebrating this landmark event. I noticed on your website that you are seeking to promote harmony between physicians, communities, and medicine-friendly legislators. This is so important in our current time when we have so much division in so many areas of our society. So as you celebrate your centennial, I hope you will take a moment to reflect on all the good work that your Alliance has done and then to look forward to the continued impact that your Alliance will make in the years to come. Although I can't be with you there in person, I would like to share just a few things that the AMA Alliance is doing. Just this past weekend, our Board of Directors convened in Davidson, North Carolina and set about looking at our strategic plan. We are in year two of this plan, so we sought to lay out the priorities and the plan of work for the year ahead. Although we haven't figured it all out, we will be working on that and then you will see that being rolled out in the months ahead. But I can give you a little inkling of what we did want to work on. The first thing being Project Bank. I am hoping to shore up and populate that Project Bank so that it will be more easy to use for our state and county alliances in seeking project information. So we will be developing a template that will give us consistency in how that project bank is populated. I hope to have this in place by the end of this year. I'd also like to remind you that we have an interactive map on our public landing page where state and county alliances are pinned. And I did notice that you do have four alliances uh, in Mississippi pinned, so that is wonderful. We are also offering a landing page to state alliances without one so that a potential new member can find a home in that state. Some of you may have taken the Physician Family Experience Survey, and if you were at the annual meeting, you would have heard Dr. Wayne Sotil report out on some of the results of the survey. We are continuing to look to validate and give some statistical rigor to the results of the survey, but we do have uh, an, a clue on the top three or four priorities of the physician family and where they find that they are needing resources and support. So in the months of ahead, we'll be looking to develop and initiate programs to help address some of those needs of our physician families. Again, I regret that I was not able to be with you in person, but I do hope to join you in January for your state capital event. I hope you have a wonderful meeting, that you have a great celebration of 100 years of making a difference in Mississippi.